I used to live in a place in central British Columbia called Williams Lake. They are in the news in the last couple of days because there's a First Nation community on the outskirts of Williams Lake that exists because 160 years ago, the indigenous people of that region were pushed from their traditional lands into what is now the reservation. I used to live in Williams Lake. I graduated high school there. I spent a few years living in that area. I know it quite well. The Indian reservation on the outskirts of Williams Lake is called Sugarcane. When you drive the main highway going north through BC, just before you get to Williams Lake, after you pass a place called 150 Mile House, you can take a road off the main highway that goes to Sugarcane Reserve. And if you go past the reserve, which is near the highway, you can go past to where there used to be a residential school. And that residential school is where a woman named Phyllis Webstad went. And if you're familiar with the Orange Shirt Day Remembrance, with a slogan that says, Every Child Matters, that began there at that reservation and that residential school because that lady was um, forced to change her clothes and was and never saw her, her special orange shirt again. So Native people, a lot of Native people, probably most, in Canada will wear orange in September for when Native people, Native children were taken to the schools and forced to assimilate. So those schools began in the 1900s, but years, decades before that, 160 years ago, the Native people were pushed off their land. British Columbia has a lot of history with regards to colonization and the treatment of Native people. So there's talk, there's work being done to have a court settlement of $135 million for this forced removal of Indigenous inhabitants in what is now Williams Lake, British Columbia. And like I said, I lived there. And down near the train station, down near the old main road, which is near the, the river, which flows into the Fraser River, there's a plaque that says in 1920 or thereabouts, Williams Lake was incorporated as a town. That's all it says. It doesn't mention the forced removal of the original inhabitants. And I graduated high school there, and these things weren't taught in school there. Reconciliation takes a long time, but truth has to be spoken before the reconciliation occurs. And in this area, in this region, the truth is there was forced removals that was purposefully left out of the Canadian high school curriculum. And I know because I lived there and I went through it.